Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, we're going to do a bit of unboxing or unbagging, if you will. So we got this uh, fine package in from China, and uh, I found this rather interesting. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, again, it comes in another bag, and it's kind of tearing it open. So one of the things we have in the bag is this interesting power supply. Uh, which is one of the things that caught my attention. Um, <laughs> pretty basic. I mean, it's not even, this knob isn't even centered, but uh, there is a knob there, and that has a purpose because it goes to this. This is the motor of the unit, and what I thought interesting is it comes with this Jacob Chuck, um, which I thought was worth the purchase alone, actually. And this apparently somehow goes in here, and I have no idea how the chuck actually holds on. We'll have to take a look at that in a minute. And then it also comes with a chuck key. Now, I thought this rather interesting. Um, I think this is just a pressure fit, really. Um, I really don't see anything else other than a pressure fit for it. Kind of weird that it'd be get, go turning it... Some interesting RPMs without some sort of lock into there but there seems to be a switch here and so let's uh, let's actually undo this power supply take a little bit deeper look the cord on it's a little bit short I was kind of hoping for a little bit longer cord since I've got plugs all around the workbench not a huge issue but uh, this is probably maybe makes it a little over three feet cord wise from from plugging in so uh, then this actually plugs in the back here move some of this junk out of the way and uh, let me get something to plug it in with okay so got some power here so I could set this up now a little bit interesting uh, so when I turn it on this obviously controls the speed and you can kind of see it whip up here So this switch also turns it on and off, but the switch on here also turns it on and off. Now, one of the things, let's see if it does it again. So I've now turned it on in this box, and I've turned it up to full speed, and I go to plug it in, and it works. Okay. Uh, didn't seem to before, but it does now. All right. So anyways... Um, what I bought this for is it was like it was like twenty bucks or so. I have <clears throat> I've uh, the link down below on eBay for it. Now what I had done in the past is about a year ago, and if you look back in some of the blog posts, vlog posts, I've got this on here. It was a battery powered one. I paid about ten bucks for it. Variable speed. The battery gave up the ghost. I think it was really intended for dog nail trimmer. What I use use it a lot for is I use these Scott Scott Bright brushes for cleaning up 3d prints and uh, they actually work pretty good and if you look in past episode you'll, you'll see these in there and then so you know what I do is chuck them up in here and, and they work well one of the things you know battery powered stuff sometimes especially cheaper battery powered stuff is a little bit of a false economy and I, I, I like the idea of a wired um, uh, you know what type device because it, it, to, to me they just sort of last longer you know there's there's a convenience factor but in the shop I pretty much uh, always have power around so it's not a problem like with this and then so the idea is is I can use it like this and use it as a cheap Dremel tool now I have Dremels yes um, but one of the things that I liked about this is if I didn't want to use it as this I could convert this to being a spindle for a small CNC machine too with the Jacob Chuck in, in everything so uh, I thought this was rather interesting so I wanted to share this with you guys so so far I mean for I think it was like 20 bucks or about there this is rather interesting if the power cord doesn't fall off and you gotta push it in there so you have a power button here you have speed control and an on off here the only thing I see a little bit, and I may actually deal with it myself in the future, is a longer cord here would be nice between the actual control box 
and the unit itself but uh, most of the time I use this on the workbench which is behind me cleaning up plastic parts which I've got a bunch of outlets on so it shouldn't be an issue um, but hey I find this rather neat and also again I, I, I think if I want to build another desktop CNC because you know you have that one desktop CNC I'm actually thinking about building another one so I figured ordering this would kind of do do probably double duty is what I'm trying to say because the battery gave up the ghost on this one now I am going to take this apart and um, kind of rebuild this probably into something else because it's got a nice chuck assembly here and everything and what I may do is just uh, run some power in here I think it's like six volts or something like that I can't remember um, but reuse that However, I thought this was an interesting find, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you found this interesting, and like I say, if you are interested, and I'll have a link below, there's a bunch of these on, on um, uh, eBay, so again, I'll have the link below. And if you want to pick one up, hey, um, I'd recommend it for the money, it's, it's worthwhile. Because the, the piece is, is, I also got this because, I should mention, because even if this motor and everything isn't any good, it was almost the price if I just bought the chuck alone. And so my idea is to take this chuck, I can take this chuck and also put it on the CNC machine, which happens to be over there too, the desktop CNC machine. So it was kind of like a win all the way around. Um, so anyways, hopefully I spurred some ideas uh, in your heads and um, that's what I'm here for. And uh, if I did, hey, give it a thumbs up again. Uh, subscribe button is coming up over there. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. Hit me up with comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.